Well, tonight we're taking a closer look at mental health resources available to college students. All this coming after Utah County Sheriff's Office confirming that they believe that 19-year-old McKenna Minor died by suicide. KUTV's Emma Riley spoke today with the University of Utah Counseling Center about the resources they offer to students and also how they want to continue the conversation about mental health. Yeah, Dr. Scott McAward Mac Mac says that the top two reasons that students seek counseling are because of anxiety and depression. And he says that they have made positive strides as a university, but they still have a long ways to go when it comes to access. Suicide on campuses, suicide ideation, self-harm is a concern, and I think will continue to be a concern on campuses. The University of Utah's Counseling Center Executive Director, Dr. Scott McAward, says they are working to strengthen the idea of a holistic approach to student mental health and provide more resources on campus. Sometimes people will just think about, oh, go to a counseling center or go see a therapist, and that's a piece of it. But much more important is what other pieces of, of well-being can we support as students? On campus, the Counseling Center offers on-demand crisis support. They also started the MH1 mental health team. Part of that is we really don't want to say that there's only one door for students to come through to get their mental health support. Dr. McAward says in the last 20 to 30 years, mental health conversations are more prevalent on campuses. What areas do you think universities could improve on? Well, I think really access. I think it's really about where do we get the resources to where the students are, and that's something that we have certainly made strides to. Dr. McAward says their data shows students are still struggling with a high level of loneliness post-pandemic. There are signs to look out for if you think someone is struggling. Maybe that student's not spending time with friends as much or not engaging activities that they typically have. On Wednesday, we spoke with one of McKenna Miner's closest friends. You never know what someone could be going through. You never know what's going on in someone's mind. Dr. McAward says he believes it will take time to remove the stigma around seeking help. We can't just pay attention to mental health. What about someone's financial wellness? What about their, their uh, social wellness? What about their physical wellness, their spiritual wellness? And if you are struggling, they do encourage you to reach out to the Counseling Center for a list of the university's resources. You can find that on our website, KUTV.com. Live in Salt Lake City, Emma Riley, KUTV 2 News. And always remember, if you or somebody you know is struggling with uh, suicidal thoughts or depression or any mental health crisis for that matter, uh, don't suffer in silence. Reach out. Please call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. It's easy. It's anonymous. It's 988.